So we have been talking about the road to the 14th Amendment, right? We just talked about the Memphis and New Orleans massacres of 1866. Uh, now let's talk about the Civil Rights Act and the Reconstruction Acts of 1867, okay? Now I promise you that this is totally related to the 14th Amendment, okay? Now remember the massacres we just talked about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those massacres helped the radical Republicans take both the House and the Senate in the midterm elections in 1866, okay? Now, the radical Republicans were the equivalent to the uh, progressive Democrats, okay? Okay. Now, the radical Republicans, they were mad uh, between you know, the massacres and the black coats. Yeah, the radical Republicans were like, oh, y'all want to play? Mm -mm, let's play then. Let's play. So they enacted the Civil Rights Act of 1866. The Civil Rights Act of 1866, it declared all persons born in the United States to be citizens without distinction of race or color or previous condition of slavery or involuntary servitude. They wanted to make it crystal clear just in case there was any confusion. Okay. Now, Andrew Johnson, who had replaced uh, Abraham Lincoln, who had been assassinated, mm -hmm, yeah, Andrew Johnson vetoed the bill. Yeah, yeah. He had opinions. Um, he did not think that Congress had the constitutional right to enact a law like this, okay? Um, but the radical Republicans left in his face. Yeah, they did. And they used their two-third majority to override his vote. Now, before we get into uh, the Reconstruction Act of 1867, it's important to note that the uh, radical Republicans refused to seat the elected congressmen from the South, okay? They said that you have betrayed the Union. Your states have not even um, been accepted back into the Union. You don't get to, you, no, absolutely not. N no, no. And they did not follow the reunification plan set out by Andrew Johnson. So they enacted the Reconstruction Act of 1867. And the act divided the South into five military zones, okay? The act also required the rebel states to uh, write a new state constitution that uh, had to ensure the uh, voting rights of black men. And this new constitution had to be approved by Congress. And finally, they had to approve the 14th Amendment. Andrew Johnson vetoed the bill for a variety of reasons. <sighs> Racist reasons, but a variety of reasons. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, the radical Republicans laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. And they overrode his veto, okay? He got mad, trashed the amendment, telling the South not to ratify the 14th Amendment, okay? Which, quite frankly, between the two of us, they really didn't want to do, okay? But the radical Republicans, they were like, y'all are so funny. Mm, that's so cute. And then they reminded the Southern states that if they wanted to come back into the Union, and more importantly, if they wanted representation into Congress, they would sign on the dotted line. Yeah. So, needless to say, 
Despite the fact that the southern states pretended to put up a fight, they signed on the dotted line, and the 14th Amendment was adopted on July 9, 1868. Yeah. 